Hello guys and welcome to another video from A Clever Chimp. On this channel we talk and learn about maths, physics and all things engineering. This video is part of our guide to engineering maths and today we're going to be talking about simultaneous equations because as I said in my last video that's where the idea of matrices all really came about is trying to solve simultaneous equations. So that's a great place to start. Okay, so let's say that we want to go into a shop and buy and return some items. Let's say we want to buy some hammers, and we're going to call one hammer X. That's what, we're, that's what we'll call the hammer X. And we want to return a pair of shoes, which we'll call Y. And so we want to buy three hammers, so three X, and we want to return one pair of shoes, so that's minus Y. And that equals, that equals a net transaction of £8. So we need to pay the shop £8 in return for this transaction. Now that gives us this equation, 3x minus y is equal to 8. Now with that, is there any way in which we can tell what the price of the hammers or the shoes were? Well, let's have a look at what that looks like on a graph. This line represents all of the possible x and y values that would satisfy this equation. Any, any point along that line will hold an x and y value that will completely satisfy the equation. So, in essence, we have an infinite amount of possibilities that this hammer and this pair of shoes could cost. So there's no way of telling, at the moment, what the actual value of those items were. So let's bring in another equation. Let's say, for whatever reason, you want to go back to this shop and you want to refund two hammers and you want to buy four pairs of shoes. You're really treating yourself now, you know? And that transaction has a net cost of minus two pounds. So the shop is giving you two quid back. Let's see what that looks like in terms of an equation. We have minus 2x plus 4y is equal to minus 2. Let's put that on the graph and see how that helps us out. So immediately, the immediate observation that you will see is that these two lines are crossing now. They're both representing the equations that we've just talked about, and they're crossing at this point. That means that it is only that point, it is only the point at which they cross, that the x and y value at that point satisfy both of the equations simultaneously. So we have two equations with two unknowns, which has given us one unique solution. So an important point to note right now is looking at these two lines, they are completely and utterly linearly independent you would not be able to describe one of the lines in terms of a scalar multiple of the other. That's what linear independence means. Okay, so let's think about some new simultaneous equations now. Let's think about the, the idea that you go back to the store, you go back to the store and you want to buy a screwdriver and you want to get refunded for a book. Like this, this store just sells everything, like everything. It's such a great store. So anyway... <laughs> Let's say that you wanted to get by two screwdrivers, so we'll call a screwdriver X, right? So that's 2X minus Y, the book. Uh, and let's say that, that costs you five pounds. And you go back in a month's time and you want to buy four screwdrivers now, so 4X, and you want to get refunded for two books, so minus 2Y. And that is now, you're going to get money back from the store of 15 quid. So that equals minus 15. So now just looking at the, these two simultaneous equations, like, is there, is there anything that, you know, to the untrained eye, it's not immediately obvious what's going to be the case here, whether there is going to be a unique solution or, or what the situation is here. So let's have a look at what they look like on the graph. So as you can see here, we have two equations, two lines on this graph that are completely and utterly parallel. They are never going to cross. 
they are never going to cross and so they will never share an x and y value that will satisfy them both simultaneously. And so that's quite an important thing to think about is the fact that although to you know on the on the surface of things these just looked like another two simultaneous equations and yet here we are and we've realized that actually hold on a minute there is no solutions there's no solutions whatsoever so keeping that in mind let's think about another scenario let's think about the same same transactions but this time when you go back in a month's time instead of the shop owing you 15 quid it's it costs you 10 pounds so looking at these equations now, what's going to be the situation? Is there going to be a unique solution? Is there going to be no solutions? Or what's, what's going to be the situation? So looking at these on the graph, I have honestly drawn both of the lines on the graph, but you only see one line. And that's because both of the lines are taking up the same space. This is because they are essentially exactly the same equations. One of them can be described as a scalar multiple of the other, so they are not linearly independent. Therefore, it hasn't really given us any other information than just having one equation, because there are still infinitely many solutions to this problem. Any x and y value on those lines, on that line, is going to give you a solution. It is going to give you a solution. So there we have it. We have three different scenarios here with with two equations mind. It's it, it gets a little bit more complex with three equations, but not all the same sort of ideas. We had a unique solution, no solutions and an infinite amount of solutions from two equations. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I really hope this video has helped you gain a little bit of a recap on understanding the out outcomes of simultaneous equations, like the possible outcomes of simultaneous equations. If you liked the video, then do leave us a thumbs up. It helps us an awful lot. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to make sure that you stay up to date with any videos coming out from A Clever Chimp. We aim to have two videos out a week, so we're going to be covering this matrices topic probably within the next three weeks. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.